Take off. A quick pit stop and uh, today's agenda is uh, the North York plane crash. Quick stop. Approaching Coleman right now and uh, crossing through Frank's slide, and I wonder how they're going to look from a different perspective on a 360 view. Hey guys, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure. In this adventure we'll be trying to get to North York Creek Dakota plane crash. On January 19th, 1946, a Royal Canadian Air Force DC-3 Dakota aircraft with seven crew men on board was reported missing on its first flight from Comox, British Columbia to Greenwood, Nova Scotia. Search efforts for the twin-engine transport plane last seen near Cranbrook, British Columbia, were hampered by bad weather. Five days after the flight disappearance, crow's nest past forest rangers made their way on snowshoes to the crash site near North York Creek, guided by smoke from the still smoldering wreckage. The directions to get there head south from York Creek staging area, turn west at Junction 46. There are some steeper parts when you get close to the crash site, but it's only a 300 meter hike 
from the steep spot. There are also a couple of places about halfway along where the trail gets a bit steep. The aircraft is a Douglas DC-3 Dakota that crashed in January 1946, killing all seven crewmen. This side of tragedy should be treated with respect. In this video I'm pushing my Africa Twin to its limits and my skills are still not great as a beginner adventure rider in these conditions. We will be fighting this heavy beast motorcycles through slick mud and very rocky and steep grades. Many times I dropped the bike and struggling with mother nature. The loose big rocks are one of the most challenging part of this ride. The motorcycle is so hard to control in these conditions. One of our friends got lost at some point or simply gave up without telling us way before we reach uh, the rough part. He called us later that he is okay and he will ride the easier trails while we are out here. I and three other friends never made it to the site. We were just 5-10 minutes away. I was way too exhausted and panicked a bit after the big crash near the end. Mirek, the guy on Black Africa Twin, was the only one that reached the destination. So all the photos from the Dakota plane crash site are taken on his phone and he shared them with us. His tires were also most appropriate for this kind of riding. We all had a bit less aggressive tire. He also has more skills as he is riding a lighter motorcycle, uh, motor, uh, the motocross bike. Upon his return to where we were stuck, we started heading back down and Robert's clutch on BMW R1200 GSA started having problems and we have helped him pushing it for a while and then he realized that his clutch cable was out of alignment but he managed to repair so we could get back home without any further issues. He may need a new clutch anyways, as his bike is pushing already over 100,000 kilometers. I'm thinking the mud is mud. <laughs> that might be not the worst, that might be just the beginning of it. That was a christening. Oh yeah, it's getting worse there. How come there's mud if there's no rain? There's bears here too. Oh, Bogdan is stuck, I think. Is are you?
głowy, czy nic nie rozwaliłem. Okay, that was the second attempt for the plane crash. I'm giving up. I can't do it. There's no freaking way that I can do that. This is too crazy. Yeah, around the corner. Come on, guys. How far is this to the swim truck? Oh, okay. Another five minutes? Probably on the bike, yeah. Yeah, we've been hiking a little bit. Is it like this rocky all the way? Uh, it's just pretty steep up there. Because you have steeper, yeah. Just up here around the corner that's pretty steep. Yeah. And rocky, and then it's not too bad after that. Okay, thank you. I'm not going any further. So stupid.
right. So we almost made it. It's right there. There's only one of us that made it to the top. And Robert burned the clutch. And we couldn't just push up that hill. It's too loose. Not with those tires, not with those bikes. It's, it is quite nasty, so time to turn around and at least we tried. To co ja mówię cały czas. We we were, were being stupid, that's all. I opony są nie mają agresywnego bieżnika. Half half na pół.
Ale są kwit mamy jechać jeszcze, nie? Gdzie jest to jedziemy? Mamy na Alison Kwit jechać, nie? We survived! No, we did it, Nirek did. No, no, I said we survived. Nirek, Nirek made it, we survived. Today that was uh, one of the most challenging off-roads that we did. We had a blast, but unfortunately we did not make it. Well, not all of us, one guy did it. Mirek is the dude that made it up there with Africa Twin. BMW is too heavy. Uh, I. I chickened out, uh, I couldn't get any traction up, the, up that hill there, so it kind of sucks, but uh, what can you do? And uh, it took us pretty much all day fighting that dirt and gravel and rocks and mud. It was pretty tough. The guys are saying that they're going to try it again. I don't think I will. I, uh, as I, I think I'm just gonna give up to with that really really harsh off-road with that heavy bike BMW R1200s they're way too heavy for that kind of uh, riding and uh, my tires are 50 50 I believe or something like that the traction lasers GPS good tires but on the loose gravel not much traction, like uh, once you stop you can't get going and uh, I wipe out uh, all together probably about four times, pretty much everybody wiped out uh, I think Mirek is the one that he, uh, he is a survivor today, he was all, all good but anyways it's getting late and uh, getting closer to home 
and uh, it's getting late I'm getting closer to home I hope you liked that video if you did don't forget to hit that like button always comment down below I'm pretty sure there's many of you that made it uh, to that plane crash section we were not far we were not far but then uh, I tried it and I couldn't do it and Paul like I'm not uh, saying it's not related to skills uh, like uh, like that my first season uh, doing pretty crazy off-road like this and uh, it's pretty tough on a bike uh, the motorcycle gets quite a bit quite a bit beating Robert uh, the guy in front of me here uh, he almost burnt his clutch uh, he's still going but uh, he might have to change the clutch uh, if that's if maybe it's just out of alignment after fall after he dropped the bike too many times and uh, he couldn't make it uh, he was smoking the rubber going up that hill if you like the content don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you in the next video cheers